this fragrance department is so overwhelming. I just need someone like Damien to guide me so I can get a really sexy fragrance to impress this hot female mannequin I'm trying to make love to in her coochie love hole. Excuse you? You want to do what to my what hole? I want to smell sexy for you so we can get freaky nasty in the ladies underwear section when the store closes. <laughs> The Moral and Missing Welcome to or welcome back to the channel, whatever the case may be for you. Uh, so this is, as you can tell by the title, not going to be a reaction video. Uh, this is going to be a fragrance <laughs> video. Yeah, uh, so last night um, I had this crazy dream and the dream was that I was making this video and um, when I woke up today I was like okay well I need to make this video um, you know there I, I follow a lot of fragrance like influencers people who do reviews and lists and you know all this stuff and there's all these you know top 10 uh, most complimented fragrances uh, top 10 best fall winter fragrances uh, top 10 beast mode fragrances uh, you know just so many lists and you know uh, best releases from 2021 and you know uh, it, it's it's a lot it, you know trying to figure out like well, what am I gonna do like on what kind of lit well um, you know I guess I'm, technically I'm kind of doing a list and I'm probably doing a, a, t a 10 tenner tenner 10, 10 fragrances um, but we're gonna do 11 because I've got an honorable mention here um, but yeah so basically these fragrances uh, you know I wasn't sure what to do so just fragrances that when I smelled them I fell in love 10 fragrances that I immediately was like holy shit and also to me and the people who have complimented me and made uh, comments about these particular fragrances to me these are 10 of uh, the sexiest fragrances in my collection uh, things that I find incredibly alluring um, but yeah so First off, you know, we're going to do the honorable mention, um, and then I'll, I'll explain why, is uh, Gucci Guilty Oud. Um, the reason that this is not officially on the list is because it has a very, very similar vibe to something already on the list, and I didn't want to be too redundant, but this sort of smells like if you took that and mixed it with the the one that's in the list um, I'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and jump into that one now so this will make sense um, so the one that is officially in the list it's similar it's got the same vibe is uh, Mason Francis Kirchon Oud Silk Mood um, Eau de Parfum not the X-Ray um, but so Gucci Guilty Oud smells very much like if you took this and mixed it with Versace Pour Homme Oud Noir uh, yeah the Versace Oud Noir and Mason Francis Kirchon Oud Silk Mood together to me is basically Gucci Guilty Oud which is a fantastic fragrance um, kind of kind of dirty kind of animalic but still you've got uh, Bulgarian rose and oud together and it's uh, it's almost kind of incense kind of vibe it's really good um, but anyway yeah so moving right along we're gonna get into the actual list first off I already said it we'll bring it back up Mason Francis Kirkshawn oud silk mood this uh, is a very smooth sensual like uh, 
it, it can lean kind of feminine a little bit. It's uh, it's got Bulgarian rose and oud, like uh, you know, the Gucci guilty oud. Uh, it's got a lot of other notes. I can't remember what they are specifically, but it's uh, very almost velvety in a sense. It's uh, I don't know. It definitely takes a certain type of man to be able to pull this off with confidence, and I'm that type of man. Um, but yeah, so moving right along, then we've got, and I wore this the other night, and uh, I, I just cannot get enough of this. Uh, the first time I smelled it, I fell in love with it. Um, this is Mason Margella, Mason Martin Margella, uh, the replica line. Uh, this is Jazz Club. This is unbelievable. I mean, this is... Uh, it's like tobacco and rum and like it's got like a sweet booziness to it and but it's still got like some woodiness it's kind of leathery kind of tobacco so sexy so just I can smell it off the atomizer it's it's not like a huge performer like the longevity and projection isn't like monstrous or anything but it's good um I love it. So, something with a similar vibe, and this is actually um, from another, uh, well, not another as in like I am one, but um, this is from a YouTuber, a fragrance influencer that I follow uh, named Ashton, his channel. It's called Gent Sense. Um, this is a collaboration he did with Michael Malal London. Um, it's a jet black flanker. The Michael Moore London did the jet black line. There's several flankers in that line. Um, but this one is called Jet Black Enigma. And Ashton was pretty much the uh, creative director behind this, uh, I would say. Um, but this is an unbelievable... Like, I was not expecting what I got with this. Um, I, I blind bought it, and I have no regrets. Um... I, I know it's limited edition and I kind of want to pick up another bottle just because I love it that much and I know it won't be available forever um, but it's uh, you know it's got oud in it and I love oud um, it, it's dark it's mysterious it's sexy uh, it, it's high quality it smells niche to me like it really it doesn't smell like a typical designer fragrance um I, I love it. Uh, everyone I know who has smelled it loves it. I've gotten compliments on it every time I've worn it. I mean, I've had people literally stop me, ask me what it is, pull their phone out, and start Googling as I was telling them. So, yeah, it, it to me, it is that good. Um, so, moving... But uh, it has a very similar vibe to Jazz Club to me, except with, like, oud. And it's also got, like, ginger and cardamom in it. So... It's a, it's a whole other beast in itself. This is in everybody's list for everything, and there's good reason for it, and there's good reason for me having this size bottle. Yes, it is Yves Saint Laurent La Nuit de Lome. The classic, the, uh, as a, a lot of influencers, influencers will refer to this as the, the penny dropper. Um, this is just a sexy... It's, it's just a floral, it's woody, it's like, it, it, it's just sexy. Like, I don't know how else really to describe it, you know? I mean, it's got, I don't even remember what all the notes are. I know it's got lavender in it. Um, it's got a bunch of other shit. It's got a whole bunch of notes, but it just, it's just like, ah, uh, ah. Uh, I've gotten so many compliments on this, like, this is always like get it if you don't have it get it just, just do it do yourself a favor La Nuit de Lome you don't have to get the big fucking 200 mil bottle you know you could get uh, you know a, a 60 mil or 100 mil bottle or something it's worth it trust me uh, moving right along oh this is another like around this is from the 
Givenchy Gentleman line. Um, this is one of the gentleman flankers. This is uh, Gentleman Eau de Parfum Boise, or however you want to say that last word. Um, this is a very gentlemanly, very sexy fragrance. Um, it's very leathery. And even the bottle, it looks kind of like leather. Um, leather is not an actual note in here, but it smells like it. It's definitely like really heavy, like tobacco leathery kind of vibe. It smells like if you, t and like woody too. It smells like if you took Dolce & Gabbana, the one, Eau de Parfum, and mixed it with Dior Homme. That's what it smells like. It's a slight powderiness. It's just like, oh my God. So, oh, so good. I've had women literally like hold on to me and smell my neck with intensity. Like just kind of like massaging my shoulder while they smell my neck. Like it, it it's that, yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay, so this is another sexy beast it uh this one's weird this one's weird this is uh oh god yes tom ford noir extreme so this one uh the first time i smelled it was on paper on tester strip at uh a sephora and i'd heard a lot of hype about it in the community and i was like oh, i gotta get my nose on that um and i wasn't impressed i was like oh this what this is so bland there's nothing to it. this smells terrible like why is why has it got this kind of price tag and why like i don't understand so i, I brushed it off i was like fuck that um well a few weeks later uh, i was in nordstrom and i was smelling fragrances there and uh i was like you know what let me uh, you know i saw the noir extreme again and I was like, you know what? Let me let me smell this again. Maybe, maybe she was just all because I had smelled a lot of fragrances that other day. And I was like, you know, maybe my nose was just fucked up by that point. So I smelled it at Nordstrom, and I was blown away. I was like, okay, this is sex in a fucking bottle. I have to have this. Um, so yeah, it's it's really rich and like creamy kind of vanilla like i forget what all the notes are in it but it's definitely a very creamy very sexy fragrance very sexy it's dark almost gourmand but not really it it smells like it would taste delicious i'll just put it that way so that's tom ford noir extreme moving right along this one surprised me this one definitely took me by surprise uh this is jean-paul gautier le mal le parfum um i originally turned my nose up at this without even smelling it um it was a you know a le mal flanker there's you know le mal there's ultra ultra male ultra mal i repronounce it and i was like oh it's another one of these fucking jean-paul gautier fucking bubble gummy playful fucking club fragrances not my thing you know i was just not i, did, I, I didn't even want to smell it because i figured it was gonna be a super hype version of the original okay so it's nothing like the original i mean it's got that that sweetness in the opening but uh it dries down to just something sexy as fuck and uh the first night I worked to work, um, I I hadn't I hadn't experienced the dry down yet. I got to experience it as I was like walking around at work, and I was like, "Holy shit!" And I was getting compliments left and right. Um, I did not expect that from this. You know, I smelled it. The the lady, I, I believe it was at Macy's. Uh, the lady kept trying to encourage me to smell it, and I was like, "I already know I'm not going to like it." And she was like, no, it's different, please. She's like, I promise you, you're going to like it. So I smelled it, and, uh, you know, just the opening, you know, it was, it, it, it was different. But it, it was good enough that I was like, all right, yeah, you're right. I, I do like this. 
But uh, after smelling the dry down and feeling the performance on this, I fell in love. It is definitely sexy. Ladies do love that. Um, oh, this one. This is my baby. I, this is probably one of my favorite fragrances of all time. Parfums de Marley Layton. I cannot say enough good things about this. It smells like an oriental apple pie that like I, I'm not even going to say the next part I was going to say because it's just crass. Um, but this this is sexy. This is I could smell this all day. Every time I smell this off the atomizer, the way I just did, it will stay in my nose for like a good hour at least. And it's just like my my favorite smell in the world, honestly. Um, it, it's just I, I can't I can't I can't do it justice. I can't explain enough of how great this fragrance is. Parfums de Marley Layton. Um, Go order a decant. Go order a decant of it or a sample of it. Um, you know, sites like Decant X, uh, Scent Split, Twisted Lily. Um, sites like that, you can probably find find a decant of it, and you do you want to get it? I promise you. Blind buy it. If it's a decant, you're not going to spend that much. You know, a, a, this is the small bottle. This is like the 2.7 ounce. And it's really expensive. The 4.2 ounce is even more expensive. Like stupid expensive. But in my opinion, so worth it. Uh, next we have another personal favorite. And this one is, it's, it kind of has the same kind of vibe as Layton. But it's not like, you know, close enough that it's redundant. It just has that. It's the same kind of sweetness that Layton has. It's not like... A sickening sweet, not like a bubblegummy, like, uh, it, it's, it's, it's a refined, sexy, upscale kind of sweetness, but this has that same kind of vibe. This is Red Tobacco from Mancera, and this is just like, oh my god, it smells like cherry pipe tobacco. It really does. That's what I get it's every time I smell it. It reminds me of going to the cigar store the really nice cigar store the tinderbox that was in a mall that I used to frequent all the time growing up um, I'd go in there and like look at the zippos because I thought they were cool um, but just this the smell reminds me of that shop it is just so beautiful and like to me that I, 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 I find this a sexy smell like I could smell this all day I really could um, it is definitely quickly become one of my favorite fragrances and last but not least Amouage Journey uh, this is just like wow uh, so it smells a lot like um Amouage Interlude, but a little more sophisticated. It's got that incense kind of DNA that Interlude has, but um, it just smells a little more refined. Like, it's not as smoky and abrasive as Interlude is. But it is just really, really to me, sexy. It, it, it's It's got... That I love in incense, like I love incense in fragrances, and this has just the right amount enough to make you go like, oh yeah, that's incense. But at the same time, it's got all this extra shit going on. It's like, oh, that's classy. Um, so yeah, to me, that's a very sexy, very nice fragrance. Uh, it it costs a lot of money, so again, this is one of those ones you probably. If you want to try it, you should buy a decant or try to get a sample of it. I believe Twisted Lily, you can get a little two mil sample bottles of it for like eight or nine bucks maybe. Um, 
But yeah, most of these, like uh, the Tom Ford, uh, Layton, Red Tobacco, Amouage, Jazz Club. I mean, they're all basically niche fragrances and you'll be able to find decants of them uh, or samples. <coughs> but the Yves Saint Laurent, La Nuit de Lome, the uh, Jean-Paul Gaultier, Le Mail, Le Mal, whatever, um, the Givenchy, you know, those are, those are pretty easy to find at like discounters, um, like Fragrance X, Fragrance Net, uh, and you can find them in most, not, well, not most department stores, but stores like Nordstrom, Neiman Marcus, or Sephora, you can find a lot of these, um, the, all of these are just, again, some of my absolute favorite scents, and, uh, most of them, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, are best suited for nights and or, like, cooler weather, uh, but, you know, you can wear them anytime, but the Michael Malol London, the collaboration with Jensen's, the Jet Black Enigma, you can only get that through the Michael Malol website, um, I'll try to put a link in the description, um, but yeah, these, these are some of my, my top 10, and then the honorable mention Gucci fragrances, and, you know, there, I have, there's still so many more that, like, I really should have and could have put in this list, but I didn't want to overwhelm everyone, this is already, like, a lot, but, uh, thank you for watching, um, if you're new to the channel and you like this kind of content or you want to you watch some of my reaction videos or like oh he's versatile uh consider subscribing to the channel you know uh it just it, it helps me and it, it encourages me to stay active and you know do content and stuff and uh, the, there's links in the description for like merch there's really cool designs that i've done that are in my store and it, any little bit that you pick up helps me out with taking care of my 11 cats. I gotta go. Good people of the interweb.